Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vectors. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let O be the origin and P has its position vector which is minus I minus 2J plus 3K. Then the question further tells us if the position vectors of the points A, B and C are so we have been given three position vectors of the points A, B, C. A is minus 2i plus j minus 3k. Vector B, 2i plus 4j minus 2k. And the vector C, which is minus 4i plus 2j minus k. So we have been told if this three are the position vectors respectively, then the question further asks us to find out projection of vector op so we have been asked to find projection of op on a vector so on a vector which is perpendicular to vectors a b and a c so we need to figure out that and if i talk about the answer choices that we have been given here the options are 7 over 3 the second answer choice we have been given is 3. The third answer choice is 10 over 3. And the last answer choice we have been given here is 8 over 3. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is asked to us here. Let's see the solution for this type of questions. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is just free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them let's see the solution now so i have been told to find projection of op vector on one vector which is perpendicular to a b and a c so first of all if i use the idea which we know already that if i have to find a projection of a vector on another vector i can just take the dot product of the two vectors and divide by the magnitude of the second vector that is b so that is the idea we know so here if i talk about Projection of OP vector we have to find on a vector which is perpendicular to AB and AC. So first let's find OP. So OP means P vector minus the O vector which is basically origin given in this case. So P vector we have been given here as minus I minus 2J plus 3K. And minus O vector, if I see, it is basically 0i plus 0j plus 0k. So from here, I get minus i minus 0i, which is minus i, minus 2j minus 0j, which is minus 2j, plus 3k minus 0k. So we get this OP vector. The second vector, if I talk about, it's told to me that the vector is perpendicular to AB and AC. So if I first find a b vector which will become b minus a so b I know the positions 2i plus 4j minus 2k minus a vector if I see it is minus 2i plus j minus 3k so from here I get 2i minus of minus 2i which is 2i plus 2i 4i 4j minus j which is 3j minus 2k plus 3k which is k. So you get this. If I find ac vector, ac we know it will become c minus a. So c position I have been given minus 4i plus 2j minus k minus a vector we have been given here as minus 2i plus j minus 3. So we have this entire vectors now. So once I have this AC, let's solve them. 
सो माइनस फोर आए प्लस टू आए विच इज माइनस टू आई प्लस टू जे माइनस जे विच इज प्लस जे एंड माइनस के माइनस ऑफ माइनस थ्री के प्लस थ्री के सो थ्री के एंड माइनस के विच इज प्लस टू सो आई हैव ए बी वेक्टर आई हैव ए सी वेक्टर नाउ आई हैव टू फाइंड अ वेक्टर विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू बोथ ऑफ देम so whenever a vector is perpendicular we find the cross product between the two vectors so i have ab i have ac i'll just find the cross product between the two so i get i j k ab 4 3 1 so if i put it ac minus 2 1 So if I solve for that, I get this i three into two six minus one into one five. So six minus one five minus j four into two eight and minus two into minus two into one, which is minus two. So eight minus minus two. So eight plus two ten and k. K I have four minus minus six. So four plus six, which is ten. So from here I get five i minus ten j plus ten. So this basically becomes the vector which is perpendicular to a b and a c. So let's let's say this is your vector, some new vector. Let's say d. So I have to find projection of my vector o p on d. So if I want to find that. I'll just use the idea of dot product of the both of them divided by magnitude of the second vector, which is d in this case. That is a perpendicular vector to a, b, and a, c. Now, once I have that, let's find the dot product. So, o p. I know minus i minus two j plus three k. I'm finding the dot product of that with the second vector, which is d in this case, and that's given by five i minus ten j plus ten k. Divided by magnitude of that second vector, which is five i minus ten j plus ten k. So if I want to find the magnitude of the second vector, I know how to do it. First, let's find the dot product. So minus i into five i, which is minus one into five, plus this becomes minus two into minus ten, plus three into ten, divided by magnitude of this. So square root of five square plus minus ten square plus ten. Square. So let's see what I. So from here I get this is minus five plus twenty plus thirty. So I get this as minus five plus twenty plus thirty divided by square root of hundred plus hundred two hundred plus twenty five two twenty four. So I get from here fifty minus five forty five square root of two twenty five. I know it's fifteen forty five divided by fifteen is three. So I get the answer for the question that is asked to us here, and it matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas and concepts of vectors. So we just figured out a b vector. We just figured out a c vector. We found a vector perpendicular to both of them, and once I get that. I just found the projection of OP vector on that vector perpendicular to both of them, so that basically matches with option B, and B becomes the correct answer. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis. please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so we, they can also take the benefit from this questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you